and staying in the United States. New polls show Donald Trump leads President Joe Biden in five out of the six battleground states. The surveys put the former president up in Pennsylvania, Arizona, Michigan, Georgia, and Nevada, all of which President Biden won in 2020. Polls also suggest that Donald Trump has become more popular among young voters and voters of color. Now, all of this comes amid widespread criticism of President Biden's policy on Israel's war in Gaza and against the backdrop of Donald Trump's hush money trial in New York. Our next report explains what voters think about the two rivals in the lead up to the November election. With just six months to go for the U.S. presidential race, it seems like former President Donald Trump is making significant improvements among voters. A new set of polls show that he's leading over President Joe Biden in five of six battleground states, all of which were clinched by the Democrat in 2020. According to surveys, Trump would beat Biden in Pennsylvania, Arizona, Michigan, Georgia and Nevada, while Biden would only manage to win Wisconsin. The polls suggest that Trump has become more popular among young voters and voters of color. The presumptive Republican nominee secured high levels of support among black voters. Meanwhile, Trump and Biden tied among Hispanic voters. There was a general consensus among 18 to 29-year-olds as well, even though the majority of the demographic voted for Biden in the last election. The surveys favor Trump as he moves back and forth between his election campaigns and the courthouse in Manhattan. The former president is facing criminal charges over hush money payouts made to adult film star Stormy Daniels. However, he has repeatedly denied the allegations and instead claimed the timing of the trial was intended to hurt his campaign trail for the November vote. They could have been brought six years ago, seven years ago, almost eight years ago. They bring it right in the middle of my presidential campaign. But we have a corrupt judge, and we have a judge who's highly conflicted, and he's keeping me from campaigning. He's an appointed New York judge. He's appointed. You know who appointed him? Democrat politicians. He's appointed. He's a corrupt judge, and he's a conflicted judge, and he ought to let us go out and campaign and get rid of this scam. As the former president juggles his legal battles, many voters believe he would be the candidate to drive a much-needed change. Trump supporters say the cost of living and economy remain the most important issues for them, and they doubt that the Biden administration would be able to resolve them. Biden's policy on Israel's war in Gaza has also become a reason for voters to abandon him for Trump, as most of them sympathize with the Palestinians. Immigration has also taken center stage as border crossings have reached an all-time high during Biden's term. There's also a much-highlighted concern that the 81-year-old Biden is too old for a second term, even though Trump is just four years younger. My body! My body! My choice! My choice! And as abortion continues to be a hot-button issue among voters, Many voters surprisingly blame Biden more than Trump for the Supreme Court's decision in 2022 to overturn Roe v. Wade, which allowed individual states to decide the legal parameters regarding abortion care. However, one bright spot for Biden is that voters still prefer him over Trump to handle the abortion issue. Now, as the polls resonated throughout the political scene, the Biden campaign alleges inconsistencies in the surveys. It claimed that many voters are not paying close attention to the election and that they've not started making up their mind. Now, in a race this close, only time will tell what the historic presidential rematch holds for the two rivals. From impeachments to inaugurations, if it's a political story, we are on the scene. The race for the White House is heating up. We're beating Biden. How dare he say that? If it's breaking news, we're live with the latest coverage. From the White House, the State Department, and Capitol Hill, we know the issues, but above all, we know the players to bring you the latest in-depth analysis on all the key stories that we're covering. I'm Eric Ham. Join me from Washington here on First Post America.